Welcome back to more Phantasmagoria. We're back with Doc. Dr. Harburg's office. I heard about Tom Ravel's murder, Curtis. Is that why you've come? Yeah. Well, that really got to me for some reason. Wait a minute. How do you know about Tom? Was Wintech trying to check up on me or something? No, not at all, Curtis. Detective Powell came and spoke with me this morning. Well, I don't know why, but that makes me feel a little better. Curtis, I can't help you if you keep things from me. Have you been having more problems than you've told me about? Because if you're having, say, delusions or, or blackouts or hallucinations, you need to tell me right away. What is this, Doctor? Are you and Merrick trying to get me to go back to that hellhole of a nut house? Look, I got news for you. I'd rather die. Not at all. I haven't spoken to Dr. Merrick in months. I am just trying to help you get better. If I were having delusions or um, hallucinations, what would you suggest I do? I would want to check you into a hospital for observation, Curtis. I will not go back there. I'll blow my goddamn head off first. It doesn't have to be Greenwood, Curtis. We can take you to a private facility. Shut up! You stay away from me. Patient Curtis Craig has just experienced a psychotic episode. Marked with um, severe paranoia and irrational anger. All right, let's head back to the apartment. We need some rest. And a couple bong hits wouldn't hurt either. Ah, what the fuck? Who's there? Me, sweetie. Jocelyn. You kissed one head, now you gotta kiss the other. God, Curtis, I... Come check out my new swing I got I in the bedroom. Like the whole world Teresa put it up. Coming apart. You know, I... I liked Tom. I really did. It was... Nice guy, you know? I know, Joss. I know, I liked him too. It just doesn't make any sense. Curtis? Can we go away for the weekend? I just... I really need to get away from all this... I'd, I'd like to, Joss. I really would. I... Just that I've got some really important things to do. Damn it, Curtis. Why can't you ever talk to me about anything that really matters? Joss, I... No. You know, it... It might be wrong in the face of everything that's just happened. Right now, I just really need to feel you inside of me.
Oh, Jocelyn. Oh, shut up. Jocelyn. Just shut up! God, you son of a bitch. Just come back to your filthy whore. You two can oh, have Jocelyn. each other. Dude, it was a crazy cat that attacked me in a dark alley coming home from work. Restock my lovers. You know what hairpins are good for? Picking locks. in my mouth. Ugh, wash it down with some coke and rum. More rum than coke. <coughs> oh fuck, that's nasty. Oh it burns. Mm, it burns. Oh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> Curtis, I didn't manage to up your clearance so that you can get down into the lower levels. The WinTech Central Computer Security System detected me. I had to get off of there quick. However, I did get your SecureCon password so that you can raise your clearance yourself. Do it if you have to, buddy, but please be careful. Something tells me our cheerful employers are playing hardball. The password is Black Lotus. Don't ask me. Warner's idea, not mine. Take care of you, Drev. <clears throat> Slogan is Paul Warner. We know the password is Carpe Diem. <clears throat> You son of a bitch. Such language, Curtis. I should have washed your mouth out with soap. Get away from me. All right, level three should be sufficient. Ahem. <clears throat> 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We at WinTech are so pleased you could be here tonight. You probably know the Threshold Project has begun October 9th, 1958. With the discovery of a natural anomaly known as the Threshold in the basement of the old Donner building. Back then, we were dealing with something we knew nothing about. A strange, inexplicable force which seemed useless and untamable. But there were men with vision then, as there are now. We saw potential of that little miracle in the basement. So we got this code book. <clears throat> Don't really let us say a lot. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Those of you who have been privileged to follow the history of WinTech and the threshold know of the disappointing results of our venture into the business with the United States military. The threshold, it was decided, had little or no military applications. Although we at WinTech did not necessarily agree with that judgment, our funding was cut <clears throat> and the threshold remained silent for nearly 30 years. Now I'm delighted to announce we've discovered an exciting new possibility for the threshold project. A possibility which could have a positive effect, not just on WinTech, but the entire world. Well, I'm sure you're all tired of listening to me talk. Without further delay, let me introduce the scientific director of Threshold, Dr. Peter Sukliff. <clears throat> All righty. Jonas, go get Merrick. Have him bring us another one. Quickly! Wait a minute, what's gonna close? Yeah. 
It's my old Tonka truck. Yay! Called Scoop a Doop. I feel bad for this kid. I grew up with G.I. Joe's, He-Man, and Transformers. He's got this shitty fucking dump truck. Bulldozer. B-64. That's the code, baby. <laughs> Birthday. October 9th, 1958. Fucking up against the wall, it's a booty call. Of course, the password is Rosetta. Greetings, B.A. Warner. We regret that we have been unable to synthesize the chemical compound requested. How? Synthesis can possibly complete it if we provide it with the following materials. All this shit below. What is the status of the twin, P.A. Warner? Why? We ask about the twin because we are concerned about the twin. It is part of us. We are part of it. Does the twin live? Yes. We rejoice to hear that the twin lives. P.A. Warner. Question. Define addiction. No. We do not understand your meaning. Please enter threshold transport and commence communication. <laughs>
don't know why you left, Dingleberry. just as you left it. I got fucked. <clears throat> Alright. We won't go that way. Let's get the fuck out of here. Borderline. I need to get my groovy, funky, gothy poopy on. Hey, ladies. Hi there. <clears throat> Looking sunny as ever. How's this douche canoe's gonna get some leather? <laughs> Teresa's gonna eat you alive, Pop Tart. Come see me later, honey. If there's anything left of you by then. Hi. What are you doing all the way over there? Come closer. Come closer. Yeah. What's your belly button? It's all right, I guess. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That ain't my belly button, you know, girl. Just on a ring is feels like a belly button. The sensation goes straight to your spinal cord. What are we going to do tonight, Therese? You'll see. Well, I'm going to hang you by your testicles and punch you in the fucking face. Can't wait. Come on, tell me what we're going to do. No, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to show you. Now drink up. You're going to need it. There's a few roofing alls in there. It'll make the pain a little bit less painful. Follow me. Follow you where, bitch? Look, Therese just went in there. She told me to follow her. Seriously down in white bread. Jesus. Look, dish canoes. Check this shit out. Look, come on, let me in. Look. 
Therese gave me this. Not good enough. Need a special invitation to get in there. Special invitation, uh, this one. <sighs> My super secret letter. All right, go ahead. Hope you survive the night, little man. Yeah, okay, Billy Ray. Nice haircut, you fucking douche canoosh. What the fuck is this shit? Oh my god. That puzzle was easy as goblin pie. Pretty sure, pretty sure uh, Roberta Williams was a little fucked up. Kinky hooker. She had something going on in that funky ass brain to make this shit. Clothes on. This is the best dry humping I've had in years. Who's next? Hop on pop. Bring out the gimp. Yeah, later.
Hello. Hello. Come on. Who's there? That was a waste of good poon poon. Fred, open this goddamn door right now. Oh, come on, not this fucking mixed mutt. Oh, good morning, detective. Where the hell were you last night? Electrocuting some bitch. What's what's Where in your you? business? I was with Therese at the borderline. And I came home. What, you want to ask my rat for an alibi? I know you were at the borderline, Craig. At least 20 people saw you there with Therese. Not an hour before she was murdered in the bathroom. Wow, shit's deep. Bitch, you need to get the fuck out of here. What happened? Before oh, I fuck you and murder you too. Damn it, I didn't kill her. I think you did, asshole. It's just a matter of time before you're arrested. I just hope to God it happens before you slaughter somebody else. I like Therese. I wouldn't have hurt her. Not ever. Is that right? You two had a strange way of showing your affection. Please, detective. I need to know what happened to Therese. A lot happened to Miss Banning, actually. I guess the short version would be that someone strung her up and fried her in her very own blood. I'll get him. Whoever he is, I swear to God, I'll get him. I'm sure the good people of the city will rest easier knowing that. Why aren't you after Paul Warner? I mean, he's the one who's behind all this. I mean, he'd do anything to protect that... That, that threshold project, whatever the hell that is. Gosh, I better go arrest him right away. Oh, uh, and just for the record, who gave you this information? Space aliens? Get, out. Get the hell out! Fine, but I'll be back, you son of a bitch! I'll be back to nail your ass to the wall! Sounds good. Bring a box of condoms. See you next episode.